Welcome back to the Jim Allen Gym. Randy Green and Jeff Irwin here to greet you, and we're already underway in the second half. These half times uh, this year have been going very quickly, and we're just seconds into the third quarter as we start the second half. Newark with the lead by a score of 26 to 19, and it's the Centennial Stars opening with the ball. Shot from outside won't go. Rebound by Newark. They'll get it down the lane to Trevor Tucker. He's stripped of the basketball, but following behind him, it's Ben Lytle. He'll follow through for the two points, and we're underway in the second half, and Newark now with the lead by a score of 28 to 19. Demetrius Carr on the far right side drives against Dante Woods, dishes off between the circle to Young. Young gives the ball on the baseline, and here's Sterling coming in for two. Layup by Sterling is good. 21 for the Stars, and 28 for Newark, and the Newark lead back at seven. Dante Woods between the circles for the Wildcats, dribbling with the right hand. Newark attacking left to right to start the half. He'll give the ball to Justin Morseth. Morseth stopped at the foul line, will have to get rid of the ball, and coming back to help out is Dante Woods. He'll take the ball behind the three-point line. He'll feed right side of the lane to Trevor Tucker. Tucker gives the ball to his left to Ben Lytle. Lytle with the ball over his head, and he'll look to the right and pass off to Robertson. Robertson, tied up at the top of the lane, goes outside to Lytle behind the three-point line. Cutting through to the baseline, it's Trevor Tucker. The pass from Lytle is there, but the shot won't fall. Rebound by Robertson. It's still Newark basketball. Dante Woods out high with the basketball once again as the Wildcats reset the offense. Dribbling with the left hand, he'll bounce it on the far sideline. Left side, Trevor Tucker, who drives around Sterling, lost the ball, but got it back. He'll feed top of the lane to Dante Woods. Woods looking over the matchups, now starts to back away, comes in again, right on the three-point line, he'll give the ball right side, near side, Ben Lytle. Lytle in the corner, tries to dribble out, and he is fouled by Young, and that'll be the first foul of the half for the Stars, and for Young, that'll be his first of the game. I want to say hello to uh, all the Centennial players and coaches who are going to hear this tape. We found out at halftime that uh, Centennial videotaping this game, and uh, that's just great, uh, Randy, just like the Newark players, uh, they'll be able to hear all the mistakes we make. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hello to them, and uh, happy to be broadcasting the game tonight. Here's a shot from the far right side for three by Dante Woods. It is good. 31 to 21, the Newark lead at 10, 6, 12 to go in the third quarter. With the basketball, Demetrius Carr, he'll drive to the midcourt stripe. He'll pass off ahead to Young. Young stopped right on the three-point line, bounces it to the right side to Carr. Carr gives it off on the baseline. Mike Williams coming in from the right, hits for two. 23 for the Centennial, 31 for Newark, Wildcat ball, as Dante Woods gives it off top of the lane to Justin Morseth. Morseth feeds right side of the lane to Aaron Ship. Ship is going to feed top of the key to Lytle, pass broken up by Carr. He's racing Lytle to the line, and he will put it up and in. Nice steal by Demetrius Carr, two points for him, and now the Newark lead at 6, 31-25. Cats have led by as many as 10. Dante Woods, far left side, will pass the ball there to Robertson. Robertson feeds top of the key to Morseth, who pops out and takes the basketball. Morseth has Williams swatting at the ball, and five seconds called on Morseth. Nice defense by Williams and the rest of the Centennial crew, as Morseth couldn't find anywhere to go with that basketball. And it is Centennial ball, and it's going to be Young putting the ball in play at the far sideline. He'll give it to Carr and get it back. Out high, it's Carr with the ball. He'll take the pass from Young, comes to the left side. He'll give it to Sterling in the left corner on the near side of the court. Sterling dribbles along the three-point line, tries to feed underneath, ball batted away. It is loose, and Young has it. He'll put up a jumper from the right for two. It's no good. Loose ball on the baseline. Aaron Ship wins the race, and it is Newark basketball. Ship gives to Dante Woods. Woods comes across the center circle, goes to the far left side, gives in that corner to Robertson, and defensive foul called against the Stars on and at the baseline, underneath the basket for Newark. He's ready to put it back in play, and it comes to Morseth, left side of the lane. Morseth wheels in, puts it up, and it's good. Nice move by Morseth. 33-25, the Newark lead, and it is Centennial with the basketball. Playmaking guard Demetrius Carr comes across the center circle, passes ahead to Young. Young on the near sideline, bounces it back to Carr. He'll work the ball to Becker. He'll fire it right underneath on the baseline. Here's Sterling, who comes underneath the basket, pumps, fakes, puts it up, and it won't go, but he gets his own rebound. Again, Sterling from inside. Again, it's short, and ship with the basketball for Newark. And the Wildcats win that flurry. Up ahead to Dante Woods, far left side. He'll pass Robertson. He's going to come in underneath the basket, and defensive fun play right underneath the basket. And it comes to Aaron Ship, left side of the lane. He's tied up. He'll make his way to the baseline anyway. His shot in and out. And Mike Williams with the loose basketball for the Stars. He'll give it to Becker, who in turn gives it to Demetrius Carr. Carr bangs into Dante Woods at midcourt. They'll play on. Becker takes the ball on the left side, drives in underneath, and tries to bounce the ball to one of his teammates. But instead, it's intercepted by Justin Morrison. Up ahead to Woods, to Robertson. Oh, nice pass, pass underneath to Ship, and it's two. Oh, that was a bullet of a pass. 
pass, and it was perfectly timed. Chip with the two, and the Newark lead now back at 10, 35-25, 3.55 remaining in the third quarter. Pat Decker feeds inside into the paint to Marcus Brown. He and Lytle bang together, and Lytle will be called when we're underway. He'll bounce it in to Williams on the left. He'll feed top of the key to Demetrius Carr. Carr swings the ball back left side, near side to Williams. He'll go cross court to Young, back to Brown, top of the key. Williams will put it up for three. It's going to be short, and right into the hands of Aaron Schiff, and he'll pop the ball ahead to Dante Woods. Here's Woods across the timeline, right side Lytle. He's open for three. It's off the rim, no good. Rebound inside by Schiff, off the glass, off the rim. It won't go. Still loose underneath, out of bounds. It is Newark basketball. Wes Ogle and Marcus Brown were racing through it. Apparently, Brown touched it last. Here's another changeup for Centennial, back in the game for his second shift of the night. It's Will Jones, and he's going to replace Demetrius Carr, who's got uh, quite a bit of playing time so far tonight. Might be Carr's first time uh, on the bench to get a rest this evening. Inbounds past the ship right in the middle of the lane. Puts up a shot, partially blocked. Loose ball. Becker gets it and uh, bounces it ahead to Jones, who just checked in. Jones bounces it back to Young. Here's Young coming left side of the lane behind the three-point line now. He'll stop, and he'll bounce it up to Becker at the top of the key. Back to Young on the left side. Young right on the three-point line. Gives it back to Becker at the top of the lane. He'll fire it to Brown. Brown puts it up and in, but I think we've got a foul before the shot. Here we go. We'll put it in play at the baseline. He'll look to his left for Williams. Says the ball ends up two rows deep. Williams is tall at uh, 6'4", but that one went right off the top of his fingertips, and a spectator ended up with it. And it's once again Newark basketball, and uh, once again Centennial's going to get some new talent in coming back into the game. Todd Sterling, along with Derek Williams. Becker will check out, along with Mike Williams. Those are your Centennial changes. Newark at the far end of the court to our left on the far sideline. It's Dante Woods with the ball, and he'll put it in play to Wes Ogle. And Ogle hands the ball back to Woods. Here's Woods coming across midcourt into the forecourt. Rockets ahead to the right side. Gives the ball to Lytle. Lytle dishes off back to Woods. Woods bounces baseline. Here's Justin Morset. He'll post up. He'll put the ball up and in. And it's Justin Morseth with the two. Newark by 12, 37, 25, and 2.48 to go in the third quarter. Young battling with Woods at midcourt. Lido comes up to pressure. They'll get the ball away to Jones from the top of the key for a three-pointer. It's good by Jones. 28 for Centennial, 37 for Newark, 235 to go in the third quarter. Morseth takes the ball from Woods, left side of the lane, dishes off far left corner to Ogle. Ogle to Morseth, back to the top of the lane. He'll pass the ball to Dante Woods. Woods dribbling with the left hand, stops behind the three-point line. He's tied up. He'll get the ball in between the circles to Ben Lytle, who comes back to help out. Lytle now gives the ball back to Woods. Woods lets the offense set once again. He approaches the top of the key, comes to the right, gives him the corner to Wes Ogle. He'll dump the baseline for Morseth. Morseth puts the ball in the paint, turnaround pop, off the back of the rim, won't fall. We've got a ball underneath. And this one once again going against Young. Puts the ball in play to Demetrius Carr, who had a brief rest, and he's back to action. Down the sideline he goes. He'll pass it down the sideline to Derek Williams. Back to Carr. To Young on the near sideline as they work the ball around the perimeter of the Newark zone. Sterling takes the ball, drove baseline, lost the ball, but it comes right back out to Young. He'll fire in the paint. Here's Sterling with a one-hander. It hangs, it rolls, it won't go. Marcus Brown rebound, pumps, fakes, and that one goes in. Back to seven at 37-30 and a minute 41 to go in the half or in the third quarter. Morseth takes the ball between the circles from Dante Woods. Morseth at the top of the lane stops there. He'll give the ball to Ben Lytle. Lytle out high, hands the ball in turn to Dante Woods. Woods going to the far left side of the court, looks in the corner. Wes Ogle takes it there. He'll put it up for three. It's off the back of the rim. And we've got some more shoving and pushing underneath. This time a foul coming up against the center place, Derek Williams. Those are your centennial changes. One more shot coming for Wes Ogle. It's on the way. It is good. He'll make two of three. And Wildcat lead now at 39-30. I'm sorry, Jeff. He has eight this evening. Demetrius Carr with the basketball comes into the forecourt, driving against Dante Woods. He'll stop out high. He'll swing the ball right side to Young. Young's going to fire a hot one down low. It was for Williams. The ball kicked loose or batted loose. Wes Ogle on the baseline trying to save it for Newark, but he can't. Ball at the top of the lane. It is Carr. Carr goes left side, near side, and it's a two-pointer just inside the line by Roshan Young. Newark basketball, long down court pass. Ogle to ship. It's good. Beautiful play. 32, Wildcats with the lead, 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. Carr at midcourt, has the ball stripped by Lytle. It goes back to Dante Woods. Lytle trying to catch up with the ball from Woods. It's out of bounds, last touch by the Stars. And it's going to be Newark basketball with 48 seconds remaining. 
And another uh, Rod Vermillion checking in now. And I think this is Vermillion's first time on the court tonight. It is. Vermillion checks in for the Wildcats. It's Newark basketball with 48 seconds remaining in the third period. Ogle to put it in play at the baseline. He'll fire it right down the middle, and it goes there to Vermillion. He'll give the ball to Ben Lytle. Lytle dribbles to the area between the circles. He'll pass left side, far side to Wes Ogle. Ogle's going to give it off top of the key to Morseth, and we just had Ben Lytle get hammered. No foul called. Morseth with the ball, left side of the lane. He'll give it in the far corner to Vermillion. He'll fire a hot one down the baseline to Ship. Ship from almost underneath the basket puts up a shot that won't go. Loose basketball, and Young saves it nicely on the baseline for Centennial. Stars have the basketball. Demetrius Carr comes across the timeline with 19 seconds left. He'll give it to Young. He fires it right underneath the basket, looking for Becker. It bounced off Ben Lytle. Nice breakup by Lytle. It's out of bounds. And the ball still belongs to the Centennial Stars. 16.8 seconds to go in the quarter. They trail Newark 41-32. Roshan Young with the ball, and it comes to Williams. Left side of the lane, he'll give it top of the key. Demetrius Carr, and we've got some more pushing and elbowing right underneath the basket, and a foul on the Centennial right here as in it comes to Lytle. Lytle comes across the center circle with the right-hand dribble, drives around the screen by Morset, goes to the right side, bangs into one of the Centennial players. That remaining, he's got the ball over his head right underneath the basket. There's Aaron Ship from Ogle to Ship. It's good. 43-32, Newark with the lead. Long midcourt shot as the buzzer sounds by the Stars. It won't fall. And we've had the end of three here at the Jim Allen Gym. It's Newark 43, Centennial 32. Wow.